go down to the second floor and tell them that you want it, and then we'll look up your um, your info what happened you know I became so uh, I think I became so moved I, I remember when I was nine years old and you know my father's a, a converted Sephardic Jew to Catholicism, Catholicism and I was trained to be an altar boy and the uh, night before I was supposed to serve mass I got very anxious I realized this is something I couldn't do couldn't do it. Anyway, as I was telling you, I um 
I just became very... Uh, see my friend, the artist. You see how these artists are they're just... They're out of the box. That's why they're so beautiful. And then it was, then I was uh, art that became uh, so fascinating to me. So as I was trying to tell you in the other gallery, I uh, came from the Whitney. The artist there got $100,000, the uh, reception for this artist. And uh, there was a woman there whose uh, child, whose daughter was 19 and apparently very beautiful. You'll see that in the film. Uh, she's studying painting. And she questioned, how is it that she's compelled to do this, to be an artist? She mentioned that she and her husband were artists. Students. So I want to ask the question to an artist like you, Mr. Michael Gray. What is it that compels one to make art? What is it? That, that the limit of art right now is self-reflexivity. That it all is about that. What do you mean the self-reflexivity? Well, that the whole courtesan aspect of it. That it's not that I don't see that art holds that place. It's just that I don't find that to be. If I, I, when I came out of my coma, my father said to me, like, you really need to give something to the world. Like, you should do something, right? And so I made Zoop right then. You know? And I felt like this is like a deep observation of the way things work and someone can put in their hands and experience this level of complexity. And so when I talk to my assistant, Micah, he says to me, like he'll kid me sometimes and say, you know, why aren't you making something, you know, that you can really give to people? Like, who are you doing this for? You're doing it for the art world. You know, it's like, fuck those people. You know, fuck this 